The house is not this large, he thought. It's only made larger by the penumbra, the symmetry, the mirrors, the years, my ignorance, the solitude. Hello, and thank you for joining me today. I'll be showing you the process of my latest oil painting and discussing the quote I shared at the beginning of this video, which was loosely the inspiration for this piece. So the quote is from a short story called Death and a Compass by Jorge Luis Borges. It's about a detective trying to solve a series of murders. And the specific quote itself is about spending too much time in your head, getting lost and overthinking, and how that can warp your sense of reality. Thinking is a tool, and it's important to ask if it's helping and being used in a productive way. After all, that's the purpose of all of this introspection and analyzing, right? To gain some awareness and insight, maybe even figure out a strategy to move forward. But when thinking is overused, it no longer brings clarity. It starts cutting into healthy aspects of your life, and that's when it transitions into analysis paralysis and living in your head. This can happen during times of transition and stress, or just generally be present around certain topics. I find a good first step to combat overthinking is getting your thoughts out of your head. So journaling or doing some stream of consciousness writing, even talking to a friend. Doing a brain dump can help reveal what is muddying the waters and keeping you in this churn of overthinking, like deep hidden fears or unconscious expectations. And after that, you can dig into those underlying beliefs and desires. It's possible that some of the things you desire aren't within your control and can't even be tackled by rational thought and analysis. For example, if you're trying to find some certainty and make the right decision, thinking won't give you a crystal ball. And many times there is no right or wrong decision, just two different paths with different pros and cons. Or maybe you've slipped into the realm of perfectionism and want to be overprepared and avoid any and all surprises. In these cases, thinking may not even be the right tool for the situation and it may not be helping any longer. For something so inwardly focused, it also helps to turn outward to find some balance. Spending some time outside, in nature, getting a change of scenery, or doing something physical that requires focus and mindfulness, which helps break thought loops. Even just doing something you find fun to help lighten up for a moment. Looking at the bigger picture, moving through life takes a combination of strategy and lived experience. It's like an experiment. You start with a theory, and then you need to validate that theory by getting data, which is real-world experience. After that, you can analyze the results and learn from them. Whatever the results are, you've learned something about yourself or the world in the process. And then you start again with another experiment. That cyclical combination of thinking and doing is what helps you refine yourself over time. It can't all happen in your head in isolation. It all comes down to finding a healthy balance between your internal and external self, between introspection and existing as part of the larger world. If you have any thoughts on this painting or what I touched on today, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for joining me today and I'll chat with you next time.